Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to change your DNS server settings in Windows 10. Starting off, you might be wondering why you even need to change your DNS settings. Well, your default DNS may be slower, less private and in some cases less reliable. As such, moving from a private DNS over to a public one can potentially increase your internet stability and speed. So let's go with the method 1. So at first, we will be using the Windows setting. Now for that, simply press the Windows key plus X. And this is going to open up this menu. So from here, simply head on over to the settings. Now from this settings page, you need to head inside network and internet. Now if you are connected to the Wi-Fi, then head on over to the Wi-Fi tab. And if you are connected to the Ethernet cable, then simply head on over to the Ethernet tab. So since I am connected with the Wi-Fi, I am going to head on over to Wi-Fi. After that, so simply click on the network that you are connected with. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you need to scroll down and click on edit from underneath the IP settings. After that, you are going to change this from automatic to manual and then you are going to select IPv4. After that, we can leave the IP address, the subnet prefix length, the gateway as blank and for the preferred DNS, we can simply type the DNS that we want. So I am just going to go with 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and for the alternate DNS, this is 8.8.4.4. .4. After that, we just simply have to click on save and our DNS has been changed. Now what we need to do is that we simply need to restart our computer for the settings to take effect. In the second method, we are going to change the settings using the control panel. So simply from the desktop, simply press windows key and R and then in this run command, type in control panel. Now once you are inside this control panel, simply change the view type from category to icons and then head on over to network and sharing center. After that, simply click on change adapter settings and then right click on the adapter that you are using to connect to the internet and click on properties. From here you need to find internet protocol version 4, click on it and then click on properties and you would see this page. On this page, you are going to simply select use the following DNS server address which is going to shift over to the manual DNS server settings. Then simply type the DNS address in this field. Once you are done, simply click on OK and then your DNS server settings have been changed and all you need to do is simply restart your PC for the settings to take effect. Now you can also change the DNS server settings from the command prompt. For that simply hit Windows R and then in the search bar simply type in CMD and then hit enter to open up the command prompt. Available with administrator privileges, for that simply hit Ctrl, Shift and enter. After that, simply type in NetSH and then hit enter. Now this is going to open up the network shell. After that type in interface. IP, show, config and then hit enter. Now this is going to show you all of the configurations for your IP. And since I am connected with the internet through the Wi-Fi, so my interface would be Wi-Fi. Now to change the DNS of this interface Wi-Fi, I would have to simply type in the command interface IP set DNS and then within the quotation marks we are going to type in our interface which is Wi-Fi. After that we are going to put a space, type the keyword static followed up by the preferred DNS. Once that is done, simply hit enter for the changes to take effect. Now to verify this, we can simply type in the previous command which was interface IP show config and the primary DNS would be changed to 8.8.8. .8 .8. Anyways, that is how you can change the DNS server settings in Windows 10. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And if you want to read the step by step blog on how to change the DNS server settings, then simply check out the link in the description box.